What's going on guys? It's Javier from Mavic Hero Film. And I got a new product that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. We're gonna put it to the test today. Now, I bought this from Amazon. Three King range extender. Claims that it'll take your drone into space. We're gonna try it out and see if we make it to space today. Maybe not space, I'm just kidding. But this does definitely create a uh, more range for your drone. So if you guys wanna get that perfect shot, this is what you guys need. And we're gonna put it to the test today. That way you guys don't have to spend your money and waste it if it doesn't work. Not that it was expensive, but I wanna help you guys make the right choice in life. Cool, let's check it out. So with this range extender, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do two tests today. First test is gonna be done in 5.8 gigahertz frequency on the DJI app. The reason being, I know a lot of people ask me this all the time. What is the difference between the 5.8 and the 2.4? Does it make that much of a difference? Is it worth it? Should I switch? What am I doing? Why? That's what pops into people's head. The first test is gonna be 5.8 gigahertz. We're gonna go ahead and do it with the range extender on it the first time. Then we're gonna fly back and we're gonna fly back out again without the range extender and see what's the results with this. Then we're gonna do test number two. Test number two is gonna be on 2.4 gigahertz. We're gonna do it with the range extender first on, and then we're gonna do it without the range extender to see what the results are, and then we'll go over the results. Stay tuned. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to put on this nifty little item that we purchased. I know it's pretty difficult to install. Just kidding. It's actually very simple. Open it up. You're gonna have the bigger holes on the bottom, smaller holes on the top. You're gonna point this towards the direction that you're gonna be flying your drone. So once you get your remote, make sure your antennas are fully up. You're gonna go ahead and align it with the holes. Stick it in there. Make sure it's nice and snug, doesn't move, and you are all set. This is what your remote should look like. All right guys, so we are set and ready to fly. I'm on the 5.8 gigahertz right now. We're gonna test that one out first, see what kind of range we get on this. Um, let's go ahead and take off. Take off. Now they say that 5.8 is going to give you overall a stronger signal in a shorter distance. So if you're not really trying to make distance your priority, you can switch to 5.8 if you're having a lot of interference. Oh, lost signal. There we go. So let's go ahead and bring it back. Go home. That's my dog, curious as always. All right, so now let's go ahead and try it now without the extenders. Let's see what we get. Let's go back up to 80. And let's go. Off she goes. All right, so we're already starting to lose some signal here now. Um, and we got to 2542 on the 5.8 without the range extender. Right, let's make our way back. Oh, it's back at 5.8. Alright, so we are back and with a new fresh battery. We're gonna go ahead and test out the 2.4 gigahertz with the antenna with the antenna extender on at the moment. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, so let's give us another shot again. Let's go up to 80. Now this is the exact same test. We're gonna go just straight forward. I have the antenna pointing straight where I'm flying to. So there's no reason why this test should be different in any way, other than the fact that we're on 2.4. So we lost signal right now, and it's on 4,026 feet. Um, that is pretty good, I would say. That's on the 2.4. So let's go ahead and fly back home now. Um, I usually fast forward all this so you guys don't have to go through watching all this. Looks like we're not getting good results with this range extender. I don't know. Is it worth the eight bucks? 
Should I skip on it? Should I return this? We'll find out right now. All right, let's do it without the antenna. Range extender. Um, back to our 80 feet, let's go. We're still going, 1800 and climbing. Signals halfway, I would say, one bar down. And there we have it, that's the results. On the 5.8, we actually got a little bit more distance, but it came down to the 2.4. 2.4, it actually made it perform worse. It's the weird thing about it. So there we have it, guys. We have the results. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not something that I would rush out to go and buy. It might give you an extra 200, 300 feet, but keep in mind, that's gonna be on the 5.8. On the 2.4, I didn't see those results. It actually made it a little bit worse. So, we just finished doing that test. Um, we used our new range extender. Definitely um, an interesting item, I would say. When we flew it in the 5.8, we were able to maximize the range. We got an extra almost 300 out of that, 300 feet. Um, but then again, when we flew it with a 2.4, it kind of took us back a little bit. Uh, definitely 2.4 is the way to go if you guys are looking for range, if you guys are looking for distance. 5.8, you're going to use it more when you guys are in an area where there's a lot of interference and you're planning to fly it somewhere nearby. If you're trying to capture footage nearby of something that's across the street or something that's going to be around the corner. But if you're definitely trying to capture some video from far, stick 2.4 and just look for that signal that's going to be the least likely to be congested uh it's the best way to do it should i say i beat it nine dollars you're not really gonna lose a lot of money if you buy this if it doesn't work for you something that i bought just because i know that hey there might be a time where i might need to fly farther just to get to get that shot that i'm really looking for um so with that said it's nothing that's permanent to your controller you can always take it off very portable once you fold it up, just fits in your bag, slide it in there, you're out, ready to go. All right, so with that said, guys, thank you for watching today's uh, episode, uh, this week's episode. I'm going to go ahead and um, look at the comments. If you guys want anything, if you guys need me to test anything out, I am going to buy a couple of filters, ND filters, uh, for the drone right now. Uh, I should be receiving them in the next couple of days, so I'll do a review on those. Everything I've been getting, I've been getting on Amazon so far. I mean, I found very good items on Amazon. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up for the video if you liked it. Uh, leave your comments in the bottom section below. And please subscribe to me. Hopefully, I'll get more viewers.